Hello everybody. Welcome back to Moosehead Observatories. Today we're going to talk about how to get a heavy, expensive, delicate instrument from the ground up onto your tripod in a very safe manner. Now when I was younger I probably could have just tossed this up here with no problem. It weighs about 70-75 pounds with all of the um, brackets and whatnot on it. I've gotten older. I'm now 65. I'm also short. I'm 5 foot 2. So manhandling this thing is no real fun. And I don't want to drop it because dropping it would entail uh, having to buy another telescope bag basically and these things are not cheap. So let's take a look at how I'm going to safely raise this telescope up and put it on the tripod. It goes on a little tiny screw and do it in a very safe and enjoyable manner. Well, somewhat enjoyable. Depends on what you call fun. So let's get started. Have you ever gotten to a stage in life or have been born such that doing some of the physical things that other people can do has gotten more difficult or is almost impossible? Well, I'm 65 years old and basically what that means is I'm not as strong as I once was. In fact, I think that, uh, who was it, Toby Keith? did a, uh, a video and a song that was really cool. Uh, what was the name of it? Uh, I'm not as good as I once was, but I'm as good once as I ever was. Well, I've never been one to back down from a challenge, but as I've gotten older, it has gotten more difficult to be able to do things that might have been a little bit easier back in the old days. Well, in all honesty, some things weren't easier. I'm five foot two. My brother is well over six foot tall. When I was raised, my father expected my brother and I to do the same amount of work, and there really wasn't any excuses. So I had to find a way to be able to get the work done no matter what. And I learned early on as a young kid that there are mechanical advantages and there are tools that can help someone who is not as big and strong as my brother was to be able to get the same job done. Well, as I've grown older, I have kind of forgotten some of that stuff and every once in a while I start to feel sorry for myself. And one of the perfect examples is my telescope back here. Now this telescope weighs in just the tube and the fork arms at about 70 pounds and it's got to go up on top of this tripod and I can handle 70 pounds. I can pick it up as a barbell or something like that but this is a very delicate instrument and when you pick it up certain parts of it want to rotate like the tube and stuff. So you can't just manhandle the mother from point A to point B. And then the other point is, this base that you see down here goes up on this tilted wedge and a screw goes down into this little slot. So you're doing more than just picking up 70 pounds. You're also picking up 70 pounds that's fragile. You're picking up 70 pounds that has to be put in a specific location very delicately and you're having to do this with a moderate amount of grace, so to speak. And if something happens and you strain your back or something like that and you drop the telescope, you're dropping roughly $5,000 on the ground. You damage the mirror, you're not going to be a happy camper. So, part of my thought process was, well, I'm too damn old to be able to handle this stuff. I need to downsize. Well, I don't want to downsize. 
To downsize means to use something that is less capable than my big telescope. I won't be able to see as much. I won't feel like I'm enjoying it to the extent that I would have if I felt like I had the big telescope. Now, when I first got this telescope, my plan was to put it into an observatory where it would be relatively permanent. Well, those plans have changed, but I still don't want to change telescopes. There are things that you can get that can help you to be able to do the work that you need to do to be able to still enjoy life the way you want to. And I remember back when I was in my sailing days, I remember reading a series of books that was called Hornblower. And Hornblower was a member of a tall ship rig, and he started out as a seaman and gradually rose up through the ranks. But the story wasn't just about Hornblower. It was also about the British Navy and the tall ships and about the various skirmishes and battles that went on back then and how these men on a tall ship would be able to unload a massively heavy cannon and lower it down into a boat, take that boat onto dry land, and then raise that cannon up on a high hill to be able to protect a certain area. Now, these cannons probably weighed in the neighborhood of two to tons. Yes, four to six thousand pounds, more than your average car. But these men on the tall ships, by using mechanical advantages, pulleys and blocks and things like that, were able to get this work done. Now, of course, they weren't just one person, but the same principle applies. You can get the work done if you think through it and think of a way to do it in a very careful manner. So what we have here is a box. And in this box is my answer to how to get the work done. Now, we're not going to do an unboxing video here on my channel. If you're one of the regulars here, you know that I don't do unboxing videos. If, uh, if you need training on how to unbox something, then you probably need to watch another channel. So I'm going to take a break here, and I'm going to unbox this, and then we'll come right back, and I'll show you what our new tool is to be able to help us get the job done. Got some instructions here. If you know anything about men, men don't usually read instructions, so I'll get rid of that. But what we have here There's a big long pole, roughly eight foot high. And all of these poles attach together with this central yoke. And then a pulley hangs from the center here and then goes right directly down and can hook on to my scope or whatnot like that. And that's gonna help me to be able to handle this. Okay, to help solve the problem of how to raise up this massive telescope all by myself, I got myself a deer hoist. These are sold for deer hunters to be able to use after they have captured their catch, so to speak, and it usually comes with a wire rope attached to it, but that goes around the winch and it tends to come unspooled 
and make a real rat's nest. And I don't really need a wire rope. This hoist has a capacity of 500 pounds, but the telescope only weighs like 70. So I replaced the wire rope with some polyethylene rope that I went to the hardware store and picked up. This has a capacity of about 150 pounds, it's 3 eighths of an inch, and it easily goes through the pulley at the top. And then I just made sure that I had plenty of rope to be able to extend wherever I needed to go to do the pickup of the telescope or whatever else I needed to raise. So let's, uh, let's get the telescope over on top of a box and let's see how this works. Okay, so here we have a telescope and I've got it on top of the box that I transport my scope in. And we've got our rope and we just run that through one area here and maybe over here. You'll have to experiment with what's going to work best for you, but I don't want to support it with just one thing. And then up here at the top I'm going to try a bowline. A bowline is a knot that's very common in climbing and it's also very common on sailboats. It's a knot that will easily come loose even after it gets hoisted really really tight. Okay, I'm relatively happy with that. I think we can raise this up and see how it goes. We've got it supported. Okay, that looks like we can probably tilt it up and put it on there. And just tilt this up and lower this down onto that screw. Okay, you can see how easy that was to get that onto the screw. Now we have two more screws that go into the base. Because this is well supported by the hoist, you can kind of take your time and not have to manhandle this. Okay, so now our tripod is very well supported. All we need to do is to let off the rope. And as I mentioned, the advantage of a bowling is it comes apart very easily. So there we go. We have raised up an instrument that weighs 70 pounds and is very, very delicate up on top of the tripod. It's well supported now. This particular hoist can now come apart and it comes apart into multiple pieces. The legs break down into two pieces, the yoke at the top comes off, and everything like that. So this allows me as a short person, an older person, a person that is not as strong as he once was, to be able to put this on top of the tripod and do it very safely. And I'm pretty pleased with this. Now I can just take this hoist down, put it in the back of my car or my truck, and I'll put the hoist back together when I need to take the uh, telescope back off of here. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you would, please hit that thumbs up icon. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please consider subscribing. And we'll see you back here again very soon. Thank you so much.